<laughs> Erica Cody. Mahalia Rose. You look very pretty. Thank you. Are you, you using your Dyson, your Dyson straightener? It looks very nice. Thank you. It's very good. I have to say, it's very good. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Busy, busy. <sighs> busy, busy. It's been, it's been a busy week, but it's nice actually. Today is quite calm. Yeah, it's quite mad because you literally haven't done this in like over a year, babe. Like I haven't, like even this. Like Zoom calls at the minute, I'm just like, have you seen the meme where the guy's like, oh, how do I find the link? Like running, to, like running to find the link. Oh God, it's so funny. And I feel like that's me at the minute. It's I'm so like, funny. babe, just then I was throwing sushi in my mouth and holding the laptop, trying to find the Zoom link. That like, was literally eat- what I was doing. I was doing like a <laughs> DIY project. I was like painting a cabinet or something to put my- You're head. always painting. It's just really therapeutic. I love it. <laughs> what are you doing at the minute um what am I doing at the minute like in life or like literally an hour ago in life in life um literally just getting all these songs for this project to mix and um, wait so you're making a project making a project do we have a name we do have a name what's the name am I allowed to know well I'm obviously not going to tell the name oh but you'll tell me after oh obviously yeah I was going to send you some demos before this and I was like, nah, we need to have our little moment. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, that's basically just been like, it's going on 50 million walks a day and yeah, God. just looking for shit to do when I'm not writing music. Do you yeah. know? Because it's just, yeah. everything is just kind of post-production at the moment. So it's just kind of fine tuning things, getting them sent to mix and then walking. Oh, it's so tedious. Yeah, like I just feel it's that time. You you like you know when you know you have an end project, but it's just having to do all the other stuff beforehand. It's yeah. just like, oh, I hear you. You know, yeah, fully, and that's like, I. But also, I think like because because everybody's frozen and like everybody's still right now. Mm-hmm. It's hard, it's really hard to stay driven in that and like yeah. stay inspired and keep pushing forward. But I have days where like my manager will call me and be like, I can't get hold of you. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, girl, <laughs> I, I, know. Know. I know. Yeah, yeah, we know. Okay, I knew that this was going to come up at some point. Erica actually secretly hates me because she can never get hold of me. But a bitch is never on her phone. Like... You wrote Do Not Disturb for a reason, but like, like <laughs> yeah, but girl, yeah, but to be fair, right, and this is actually not even me being weird, this is actually a good topic of conversation. Are you not bored of sitting on Zoom and FaceTime? And like, normally by now, I would have seen you. That's what's pissing me off. Yeah, yeah, like, this is the longest we've gone without seeing each other, like, at least at this point. Yeah. It'd be like, I think, okay. like, like when I see like you come here and you stay with me for five days I come there and I stay for days like yeah this it's, is just annoying you know what it is it's like I'm actually finding it really hard to connect with my closest friends Same. via text message or FaceTime and it, it's because it's I'm like okay well what are we going to talk about when we actually get to see each other do you know what I mean and then it, it becomes a thing of like you, you, it's like you don't even know how to communicate anymore kind of yeah and it's like you kind of do it for the sake of doing it yeah and for me that doesn't really carry much I hate it. reason do you know what I mean it's just like I, I want to be with you I don't want to have to FaceTime you or text you like it's yeah. not it's and frustrating it's, but at the same time you have hard. those luckily you know we have those relationships with people that we don't need to talk to 24 7 to maintain a relationship with. babe I literally I saw I saw like a thing on Instagram that was like that said like your best friend really be the person that you speak to the least absolutely but I like when I really deep it I'm like raw like even through this lockdown like, I don't speak to anyone every day my mum could put, could get hold of me every day yeah but I, but there's no one oh, and my absolutely. boyfriend which is the same with you like literally yeah but that's because I'm with him I know, you I know. know. Like, and it's and it's just. I think honestly, I think people are gonna come out. Like, 
I think people are, are going to come out of this and get back to normal really quickly. But I think people are going to come out of this and not know how to get back to that straight away. Like when I see someone in the street when I'm going for like my 50th walk during the day, I do not know how to speak to that person. I am so... I feel like I've become a bit of a, I'm an omnivore anyway, you know, I'm a mixture of an introvert and then an extrovert. But with this, I just feel like I'm so socially awkward that I don't even know how to communicate with people anymore, like a human being. Yeah. Because it's I like, really oh, we're on the same boat, we're all born, we literally all have no crack, we are all shit crack at the moment. <laughs> what? What? Like, what do you want me to say? There's only so yeah. many times you can say the same thing to Really, me. really shit them. crack. Yeah, no, really babe. Crack. I hear you. I don't have any even 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 sometimes at the minute I'm sat with my boyfriend and, and I end up just like my brain just goes oh when he's talking that literally happened in the car with me and himself today we had to go pick, we had to go pick up my car because it was charging and we were sitting in the car and he was like oh like yeah 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 and I was like yeah 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 Do you even care what I'm saying anymore and I was like I was just you know it's hard. I don't think, I think we all need to stop being so hard on ourselves and on others. Yeah. Also, P.S., I bought the jumpsuit that you're wearing when you told me to buy it. And it's lovely. It's stunning. It fits much better than the grey one, right? Stunning. The grey one <laughs> is, like, pouchy. Yeah, I know. And, I and like baggy. Kind of yeah, that one's adorable. You look very cute. Um, Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, what else has been wait right so so aside from music aside from lockdown what else has been going on um I'm just in the process of getting a tortoise you're getting a tortoise yeah tortoise tortoise oh, oh yeah. what am I to, you talking about oh, we have a video I literally told you like 10 minutes ago I know but I thought I'd be surprised for the interview <laughs> she sent me a video this morning of it like, can you go? Oh my God, he's there. Look how tiny like, he is. He is just a bit of me. He's so me. And so and bothered. Tell everybody what you're going to call him. Biggie. <laughs> Biggie. That's so exciting. I really, oh, I miss like, okay guys, so I had a dog. I had a beautiful dog. Do you really want to get there? No, no, no. So I'm not going to go all the way there. I'm just going to go like a little bit in. So I had a dog that I no longer have. <laughs> I really did not go there. <laughs> no. I went boom, 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 swerve. <laughs> um, and all I keep thinking about, all I keep thinking about is pets. I just want yeah. something. Maybe something like a tortoise would be they're so actually, cute for me to have. To be honest, they're actually great. Like literally all they do is eat kale and shit like every second day. Why do they shit every two days? Apparently, like I am knees deep, no, sorry, chest deep <laughs> in like tortoise research at the moment. It's ridiculous. I um, feel like apparently it's a genetic bar. makeup. I don't know why. I love it though. I absolutely love it. Two days, that's kind of mad. Yeah. But what has been going on with you? Because it's, you know how it's like hard to get hold of you and stuff like that. <laughs> now, now I've got you and I want to know everything. Um, so I moved house. Did you? Yeah, I'm, I live on my own now. No. Yeah, which is kind of weird. You're not in the apartment anymore? I'm in a different apartment. Yeah, you tell me that. You literally told me that, I'd say, about a month ago. Yeah, I told you that. Yeah, the one bed. Yes, yeah, but no, but yeah. no, but yeah, no, but my friend was staying with me for weeks. Now I'm like alone. Oh, like, alone, alone. okay. So, okay. and I'm finally like all moved in. So basically where I was before, I hadn't fully moved out of there because there were okay. still people there. So I could leave some stuff there. And I was like slowly mm -hmm. moving here because I was like scared of being alone. But now I live on my own. And like, but like alone, alone, alone. See, like, I hate that because if that was the case and we could travel, like, you know me. I, just I know. This weekend. Because yeah. living alone is hard. <laughs> And also, like, I get, like, I get fuming. Like, when I go in the bathroom and there's no toilet roll, I'm like, fuck, I'm the only person that can go do that. <laughs> and I'm tired. A bitch is tired. Just tired. Um, but that's good. Um, I'm making an album. We love to hear that. 
I know. We love I, to hear that. I, I kind of can't believe it. There's literally a whiteboard behind this, but I'm not. But I can't turn it around because then that would do things. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. That's that, right now, that's <laughs> so funny. Um. But that's nice. And then I've kind of been, yeah, like I've been walking a lot, which is good. I think walking is actually much more therapeutic than we've all ever realised. I mean, you have dogs, so you walk anyway. We literally get up at like 7am, go to the beach, because it's literally two minutes down the road. And we just yeah. walk for like an hour and then come home. And then we just start the day. That's so and nice. I find things to do when I'm not in like post-production sessions. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Other than that, like life isn't, very exciting it's just trying to find things to do and to cope I hear that you know are you watching Australia's Married at First Sight um uh, um, sorry excuse me (laughs) absolutely I am watching Married at First Sight Australia absolutely sorry can we actually take a moment to talk about Cyril God Hold on, am I freezing? Yeah, but I can see you now. Hold on, right. hold on, guys, real quick. Let me just hotspot because the, the Wi Fi is real temp. Okay. Um, so Sorry, I'm uh, not, wait, so I'm not, I'm not all the way caught up with Married at First Sight. What episode are you on? God. Like 22. All right, so you're halfway there. I'm finished it, but yeah. So I've not... No, we need... To... Okay, so throwback, Enos. Who? Oh, no. I actually can't talk about her without getting really angry. Like, she makes me really angry. I just she don't... She is a wreck. She is I a was... train wreck of a human being. I'm sorry. She's Stop. just not nice. I don't like not nice people. I really I'm... don't. Really? I, I, I was watching that show literally going like what, what I imagine oh like, what and like listen you know me like listen people have their shit like some people are negative because of whatever reasons or like that's yeah. fine like like what's funny is that Cyrell sorry for anyone that's not watched Australia's Mind the First Time but you really <laughs> fucking give it all the way <laughs> really should so and then so like someone like Cyrell I find quite interesting because I'm like I see like I've obviously not gotten to the end so I've not seen everything but it's quite like she's clearly a scorned woman like she's someone who's who's experienced pain she's felt that pain and then she's like yeah. and you and like that oozes out of her completely and like, like I was watching some scenes going god like I do remember that feeling of like when you're that scared you do self-sabotage and you like and it's funny like not to relate this to us at all but it's just like you know going through lockdown in relationships has been a mess like we've all yes. been figuring out like absolutely who, we are, who our partners are yeah. who we are in relationships and like I've definitely had some Cyril moments I've had some <laughs> moments of going to my guy like you don't give a damn you Daily. just don't like of course daily because and it's hard. hard yeah and now imagine they're almost in like they're almost in like a weird walked lockdown because they're in these apartments and they have to just be married and I'm it's watching insane. it like this is like my boyfriend was loving it he was watching like this is amazing I'm learning so much and I'm like, of course you are, because they're literally in the same situation that they're sat in apartments That's so together. True. Yeah, I didn't think about it that okay. way. But yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? No, I, I don't want to imagine. I really don't. I can't. This series has been scandalous. Like, if you were just to, to describe it in one word. Scandal, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, don't even talk to me about Scandal. That was my show. <laughs> Bitch, we've been watching show. so much TV. This year, so I've watched so much TV. Like, so much. I know, it's been amazing. It's ridiculous. We should be talking about music, but TV's better. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. God. <laughs> TV's amazing, though. I feel like I've been getting all my inspiration from TV. Really? Yeah, I wrote a song literally about Bridgerton. Have you seen Bridgerton? I have. <laughs> it's intense. Oh, I love Bridgerton. So 
if you're under the age of 18 Bridgerton is not for you (laughs) I actually can't yeah that was a bit much at times but I love it a bit much but I love like you know so when so what's Bridgerton like it's like set in like I don't know it's like a period drama that's like amalgam with a a sitcom slash rom-com slash porn I hear that that was such a good answer. It's the only way I can describe it. <laughs> Slash porn. <laughs> it's a whirlwind. It's a whirlwind. But so you know how like, so like obviously like in that time, right, the way to court a woman, you would go to the parties or the events and you'd be in. I would say. Like, yeah. And like you'd be out in society and you would court her. So you'd go to her and you'd ask her to dance. I love that. There's something about that that I love. And there's something about that 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 life that I just love. Nice. So I was, yeah, so I was like, I was really inspired by it. And I literally just wrote a song about that moment, like where like they come over and they like grab you and and and, and they, they have to write their name on your little book and then you go and dance. It's like, yeah, mate, give me some of that, bruv. I'm so bored of going to like, I mean, not that I've been to a club in a year, but I, I think I'd prefer that than copping a wine in the corner of the fucking room, bruv. Do you know what I mean? I actually, I have no words. Sorry, my lip gloss is sticking to my lip gloss. I have no words. I don't really know what to tell you, but I'm delighted you got to write a song about it and you're inspired. Because <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what the hell I'm getting inspired on these days. Really? <laughs> Everything is just deep. And I'm like, oh, Erica. Oh. You know, so deep all the time yeah but it's deep though babe yeah but deep but, enough, like, I always write in a way that it's deep but it's like it's so subjective to the point that someone could take anything from it yeah and it's playful I do hear you you know but at the same time it's like oh, well I know what this is about yeah I, I have to listen to it over and over again but it's actually fine because they're banging so like I'm really not complaining at all <laughs> like at all it's banging no <laughs> I hear it. Uh, tell me about uh, Jealous. I actually really forgot the song there a second ago. <laughs> I was going to say Nasty. <laughs> um, God, yeah, Jealous. Tell me about Jealous, come on. I mean, you know how I write Jealous. Like, I talk to you about the about neggy people in my life all the time. Absolutely. I wrote, I mean, you too, girl, but you know Tino Shade. <laughs> but I wrote, I wrote Jealous because I was really pissed off. Good. Like I was experiencing some shit with some people. Everybody assumes that, that it's girls, but it was actually mostly boys. Like mm. some of some of my closest guy friends I was like having real issues with, like when it came to, you know, just just talking about shit to do with me. I think people were just getting offended. Mm. And like I had a couple of weird comments thrown my way or like a couple of comments about, you know. I don't know, like, I, like, so you see how, like, our friendship has now, what, it's been five years of us, like, being close like this. Yeah, yeah, nearly five years. And, like, you will I call- can't even think about that. Sorry, and that's just, like, long. sent me over. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, Sorry, so on. we both do music, so we have that in common, but, like, you'll call me four days in a row, and I might not answer the phone, mm-hmm. right? And then I'll call you back, or whatever happens, there's a there's a there's a mutual respect yeah there's a mutual respect and there's a respect where I love you you love me you know that I'm not like there's no what I mean is there's an there's understanding no, there's an understanding yeah. and it's not like I just me personally I don't take it hurt if someone doesn't pick up my call because I'm like okay life gets in the way I'm yeah. not friends with people who um I hate to say need me too much but people who expect a lot from me when yeah, like I understand. They will get in the way. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. to me, that's not realistic. Jesus, I die for my friends, but I wouldn't. I'd, I'd hate for someone to rely on me to the point that if I don't pick up the phone when they call, that that's the end of a friendship. Because I've been friends with people like that before. So it's cheap, and it does not work. <laughs> so completely agree, and that's where I was. And I was like, you know, I was having friends say things to me about who I think I am now 
I see. I don't like that. I don't like when people try I to tell me what kind of person I am. When I, I'm, it took me a long time to be very sure of the person I am. Yeah. So when people do that, they that. try and set you back, and that's not. Yeah. Real. And I just can't. I just can't stand that because people really, you know, projections a real thing, and when people are talking about that, they're really just talking about themselves. And like I had, like I had a like there's certain buzzwords like bitch and selfish and. Mm-hmm. like just all these words being flung at me and this was like the end of summer so I and I was like, I was going through some shit mm. I've been in lockdown like yeah. my thing that I was trying to explain to a lot of my friends is like we've all lost so much in this right we've all lost a lot from financially to just even just to like you know personally or professionally whatever Fine. we've all lost yeah. a lot. yeah and and trying to explain because like you know, I really, my friends were really, well, my friends, pe- these people were, like, really going to me, like, like, what have you lost? Like, you're still you, you're still Mahalia, you're still da 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 And my thing was, like, I don't think you understand. Like, I just spent two years of my life not in this city, on the road, in different cities. And now I'm trying to build a life mm-hmm. as an artist here. This is so I don't have any friends you. here. Yeah. yeah. This is, like, a whole, I feel like this is a whole new world for you because it's, it's I weird. remember... I'm, how like how not like not removed from life that you were but you were just so uh in tour life that it just became you it was it was all you knew so you didn't know how to really just sit with yourself and live alone that's like when you started living alone I was like I hope she's okay do you know what I mean she hasn't lived alone and I fucking wasn't ever yeah and I wasn't I like I literally, I mean, where I'm sat right, like I slept on the sofa for the first month when I lived alone because I couldn't bear to go in the bedroom. And I had friends going to me, what have you lost? And I remember just being like, oh, do you know what? Shut up. You don't get it. You just don't get it. And like, you know, like, I mean, people have always called me selfish. And like, I honestly don't know how people think that I could ever get to, well, well, that we could ever be in the position that we're in without being slightly fucking selfish. Like, if anything, you're the furthest thing from selfish. But everyone has to be selfish when it comes to certain things in their life to get to where they want to be. And if that comes with sacrifice, so... Exactly. Yeah, and it's not even... It's not... Yeah, and it's not even, like... It's not just being selfish towards friends. Sometimes it's like... You know, I've had to like miss things and like miss birthdays and miss fucking funerals and not be in places because because I've had to be doing this or be focused or be like that. Like that is also hard for me as hard. So so anyway, what happened was was I I was annoyed and some of the comments that were coming my way really in in my mind like in my adult mind were coming out of jealousy Mm. and and, and I'm not saying like jealous of me Mm -hmm. but jealous that you know people some of the words like you know you you have this you have this we don't have that I'm like that doesn't sound like a me problem that sounds like you a you problem yeah like that sounds like something in you Mm -hmm. and you're shouting it at me and I don't know what I'm doing wrong because I wrote jealous and I wrote it with Mira May He's amazing. Amazing. And yeah. I wrote it with Cadenza, who's a producer. And I, I was just ch- like, I was just getting shit out of me. Yeah. And just, and also trying to make it playful, like as we always do, because like there's that bar that's like, are you feeling jealous of me? Stop it, silly. Like, just, yeah. just chill out. Silly, like chill. Yeah. Yeah, you know? So it was supposed to be, but, but like, mm, I'm going crazy. Like, girl, I was going fucking mental. Because it drives you mental because you start, you, you as question a yourself. person, you take on other people's emotions and how they feel. So when you take exactly. them on, you feel like you are becoming the person that you know you're not. When you've been sure of yourself, been bad since I was a baby, you know yourself. Exactly, yeah. You and it's like, no, yeah. And like, I think when you're, because we're, like, we're all songwriters, so we all are natural empathizers. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you're right like when somebody would say to me you're this you're doing this to me I would go god yeah am I you shit? Have to look at yourself because you're an yeah, like, what am I doing? you're like shit yeah. she hurt your feelings I'm really sorry but yeah if something just doesn't sit right with your gut and someone is making you feel a type of way then you know that it's not a, it's not a you problem it's a them problem it's of, of course and I think it's important that all of us you know anybody who feels that knows like 
let go of that. It's not your fault. People can be shit. Absolutely. And you have to just believe in, yeah, like you have to believe in your energy above anyone else's. And like what you were saying was just like, you have something that I don't have. It's like, we all have something that other people don't have. When have we not felt that? Yeah. When have I not looked at Kylie Jenner's Bentley and gone, fuck (laughs) sake? Do you know what I mean? Like I we all feel that. No, but and I, I think, think it'd be the simplest thing or the most luxurious thing. But yeah. regardless, we all have something that other people have. We don't have something that other people have. If that makes sense. Hundred percent, babe. I want your blonde highlights, but I can't bother to damage my hair. Oh my god, and yours was, looks lovely. I was going to say this to you. I'm really thinking of going back dark. Really? Yeah, but, but I the blonde is so cute. cute. I just come so far with the blonde. <laughs> I, I would love to do go. that. I would love to do that. I was going to get a wig, a dark wig, and then I was like, but why would I want to hide my blonde hair? So I'm really, I'm really so no, place. You could get a dark wig. That'd be lit. I know, but still. Like, I why can't. don't I send you one and you just try it and see how you feel? Oh my God, would you actually? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to drop like 500 quid on a new wig. <laughs> and then everybody can be jealous. You can be jealous of me. My black hair is a 